Well, now we're going to be hearing your stories. Uh, Carol Povey, director of the Centre for Autism, is with us. Welcome. Lovely to have you here. Let's get straight on to our first phone call. We've got Suzanne on the line now. A good morning to you. Good morning. And what was your question today? Um, well, um, my daughter was um, diagnosed with, uh, with being on the autistic spectrum a couple of years ago. Um, and we were told that she was um, sort of, I guess, a mild version of it. Um, so although she has um, sort of problems, behavioural problems um, and issues, um, she doesn't, she's obviously, um, it's kind of not extreme enough, really. And what we found um, is that we're kind of lacking in a little bit of support around this because she didn't seem to be severe enough to, to obtain any of the kind of additional support that um, some people, um, is available to some people. What, what are you noticing about her? Um, well, there, there's quite a lot of um, issues, behaviour issues, that, um, you know, in terms of focus. Um, she gets easily distracted, and what's happening is it's now impacting, um, you know, her ability to to learn and to make, you know, friendships. Yeah. Um, so definitely something that you would like, yes, like some help and support with. Yeah, we, we kind of, we were hoping that the diagnosis would open some doors for us, but because she has such a mild form, mm. you know, we, we still have the same problems, but we find that, we just don't know where to, to go in terms of the support now. OK, yeah. Carol. OK, I think, I mean, that's such a common problem that after diagnosis, you really need to get that, that support, both for your daughter and, in fact, for yourself and the whole family. Um, I would advise you to go onto the National Autistic Society website and there's, there's a whole load of information around strategies and approaches and um, perhaps where you can get some local support. We have a programme um, called the Early Bird Programme um, which, which gets families together and, and can, can go through what the problems are that, that they're experiencing. And I would also perhaps advise you to um, join a local branch or support group where um, families can get together because it's, it, it's really important to get support not only from professionals mm. but actually from other families. It can be really helpful for, for families to, to meet together, compare um, notes and, and, and find out um, what, what peer support is, mm. is available. Okay. Does that um, does that help, Suzanne? Yes. It, uh, yeah. It definitely does. I think it would definitely be good to find other people that really. Yes, I agree. It does it's sound like it's yeah. it's a case of you having to reach out and find them. Yeah, and I think that's a difficulty we found. It, it's, it's knowing where to turn to. Well, it sounds like if you we'll go start to that website, that website it'll put you yeah. in, the, in yes. the right direction. I mean, we we have over a hundred branches across the country. And, and they're all on our website. You can find where they are through, through the NAS website. Thanks, okay. Suzanne. Thanks, Suzanne. Thank you very much.